single dose coffee grinding. It's a popular option for those who are very serious about their espresso and other brew methods as well. Today, an in-depth look at the Chiato E37 SD. It's a new version of Chiato's respected E37S grinder that's been set up specifically for single dose grinding. Hey coffee lovers, Mark here from Pull Latte Love. Today, an extensive review of the Chiato E37 SD. I'll take you inside the grinder for a close look at parts like the massive 83 millimeter titanium burrs. I'll have a look at Chiato's quick set worm gear for micro precise grind size adjustment that also allows for rapid macro size changes. I'll cover how to use a grinder for best results, including the RDT sprayer, WDT cup and espresso dosing funnel. And I'll finish up with some test results, including grind retention. If not familiar with single dosing, it's grinding only the amount of beans needed for each brew. That can be for espresso, pour over, press, or really any brew method. So typically you'd weigh the beans and only grind what you need. The hope being you get about the same weight of ground coffee out of the grinder as the beans you had put in. And as we'll see in the test results later in this video, the E37 SD does an excellent job in that respect. Now, this grinder looks a little different than most. Starting at the top here, there's no hopper, just a funnel mounted in a bellows. More on that in a minute. Grind size is adjusted by Chiato's quick set gear. It's a worm gear setup which allows for super precise grind size adjustment. Just how precise? Well, it's about 70 full rotations of the adjustment knob to do one full rotation of the top burr adjustment collar. It's the most precise method of grind size adjustment I've used. With the mechanical advantage of the worm gear, there's no need for a locking mechanism and no chance of grind setting drift. For large grind size changes, the worm gear can be disengaged. Turn the nut here, push down, and the gear releases, allowing for free rotation of the adjustment collar. So it's quick to go from very fine espresso grinding up to coarser ranges for brew methods like drip, pour over, and press. Now, there's a scale on the adjustment collar to indicate grind setting. It's held in place magnetically so you can adjust it as needed. You can dial in the grind size and then set the scale reference how you like. The grinder is controlled by a simple start-stop switch. When push, the grinder starts. Push again and the grinder stops. If you don't push to stop, after 30 seconds, the white ring starts flashing. Once that happens, the grinder will stop on its own after 10 more seconds or push again while flashing and another 30 second on cycle starts. So you can always turn the grinder off, add more time while grinding or do nothing and the grinder stops on its own 40 seconds after the last switch press. Now, one thing I love about Chiato grinders like their E37 series is just how easy it is to get into the grinding chamber and that when you open them up, you never lose calibration. Just three bolts and you're in. Put it back together and there's no change in grind size. Inside the E37 SD are these massive 83 millimeter titanium burrs. Now in most grinders you get a steel burr. Titanium gets you a much longer lifespan, typically three times longer than steel burrs. It's a burr which stays sharper longer and it will not rust. As we'll learn in a moment, no corrosion is important due to the way this grinder is used. A couple of other things to notice in the grinding chamber. The top of the shaft has a smooth mushroom shaped cap. This aids bean flow and keeps them in the chamber. Also, no exposed threads of the burr adjustment mechanism to collect coffee dust and oils and make adjustments stiff or jumpy. Now, if you've ever used a grinder with exposed threads in there, you know how jumpy they get when dirty and how difficult those fine threads are to clean. So let's go over how to use the E37 SD. Here are the extra tools it comes with to get the job done. There's an RDT sprayer, a WDT cup, and an espresso funnel and a brush. Typically you'd weigh out your beans into a cup, then use the RDT sprayer to mist them with water. If not familiar, RDT stands for the Ross Droplet Technique. It's a common method used to control and stop static buildup when grinding. Now you can RDT with any grinder, but do be aware there is the possibility of corrosion when using RDT in a steel burr grinder. With titanium burrs and the E37 SD, that's no concern. While steel can rust, titanium does not. In my case, I get best results with one or two shots from the sprayer when grinding for espresso. After spraying, you shake and or stir the beans to distribute the moisture. 
Chiato advises starting the grinder prior to loading beans. The WDT cup, which comes with the grinder, slides into the fork down here, and you can use it to collect the grinds for any brew method. If you prefer, you can grind right into a portafilter using the espresso funnel on top. Alternately, for espresso, you can grind into the cup and then load your portafilter once again using the supplied funnel to prevent any spillage. WDT is an acronym for the Weiss distribution technique. It's a method of stirring up clumpy grinds for more consistent extractions. It's kind of curious that Chiato called it the WDT cup as even at very fine espresso size, the grinds coming off those huge titanium burrs are fluffy and pretty much clump free. As grinding finishes up, use an open palm to tap the bellows a few times. This blows out any remaining grinds in the grinder. After that, depending on how particular you are, you can use the brush to sweep the chute to make sure you're getting every last tenth of a gram. From there, tamp or in my case, level and compress with a leveler and you're on your way to a fantastic coffee. I think I might have mentioned in some other videos that I'm a convert to levelers. They give you great even distribution and they handle compressing the coffee as well. Try out the jack leveler and I guarantee you, you're never gonna go back to tamping. So let's get into results of my grind retention testing. First, gotta tell you about this. We've had this grinder out for a couple weeks for our tech support staff to use and test. I'm estimating they did somewhere north of 250 grind cycles during that time. When I brought the grinder back here for this video, I opened it up and honestly, it looked like it had barely been used. Just a little dust around a couple of edges, not even enough to really measure. It was really pretty incredible. For the retention tests, I'll weigh out exactly 18 grams of beans, use two sprays from the RDT sprayer, grind, use the bellows to blow out residual coffee, and sweep the chute. The two sprays of RDT can add between one and two tenths of a gram to the weight, so it might not be unusual for the grinds out to be slightly over the 18 gram dose. I'll repeat the test five times. Here are the results. On the first two tests, it was 18 grams in and 18 grams out as things started to moisten up with the RDT or due to variations of under a tenth of a gram between the two scales. On the third test, I got 18.2 grams, then 18.1 and 18.2 on the final test. Now, that's pretty amazing. Chiato doesn't necessarily position the SD as a zero retention grinder, but using it with proper technique in my test, for all intents and purposes, it was a zero retention grinder. Keep in mind that a tenth of a gram variation in an 18 gram dose is equal to 1 180th of the total. That's well below the threshold of making any discernible difference in an extraction. If you're into or considering single dosing, the Chiato E37 SD is a fine piece of equipment. It features those super precise worm gear adjustments, essentially zero retention, and beautiful fluffy grinds from huge 83 millimeter titanium burrs that for most users will grind a lifetime of coffee. Got questions on this grinder or anything coffee? Use those comments and I'll get you answers. And if you like this stuff, be sure and subscribe to the channel. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Wanna learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.